Welcome to GreenBiz Studio. I'm Sarah Golden. I am the Senior Energy Analyst at GreenBiz. And I'm joined today in the studio by Gail Schuler. She is the Vice President and Chief Sustainability Officer at 3M. So happy to have you here, Gail. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. What a wonderful event. Can you tell me a little bit about what 3M is doing right now in circularity? Absolutely. So in November of last year, 3M put forward a strategic sustainability framework. It's all about our ambition to improve lives by applying science. And with, those, with that framework, we have three pillars. They're about science for circular, science for climate, and science for community. So as a significant pillar, we're, we're doing a lot around circular and circular economy. We specifically set forward a commitment to have a sustainability value commitment in every new product that we launch. It's so about a thousand a year. A thousand a year, so that is amazing. Well, how does that change the types of materials you use or how you think about sourcing those materials? Yeah, it means that all of our researchers around the company on the order of 10,000 are thinking about new ways to incorporate sustainability right from the earliest concepts of new product development. So that can be things that it does for our customers in terms of energy efficiency, but also things about what materials we use. Are they plant-based? Are they recycled content? Are they designed for reuse? use, all very important factors in the circular economy. And what about your existing products? How are you approaching those different? We've considered sustainability for a long time. We've been at this with a program called Pollution Prevention Pays since 1975 that has always been about how to make um, our own footprint lighter, how to reduce our footprint, how to help our customers reduce theirs. Um, but now we're really taking it up a notch because it's a requirement in the very earliest stages. And when we think about developing new products, we know that the impact of those very early decisions tend to telegraph off in big ways as, as the development and decisions go on. And what's the next step for 3M? How are you taking this up to the next level? Well, there's a lot of things that we're doing with partnerships, and we're really excited about things that we do with our customers and suppliers. And today, we're proud to announce that we are the newest members of the Ellen MacArthur Foundation and the CE100. That opens up a great new opportunity for us to partner with like-minded companies and organizations to really join collectively to make a difference. That, that is amazing. For the people that don't know about this commitment, can you tell, tell us a little bit about what CE100 is about? Yeah, so CE100 is a group of, unites a group of companies around embracing the circular economy. And the idea is we all recognize that we will and need to each do our individual parts, but in order to truly form a circular economy, that's one where product life goes through its natural life cycle and then has a new life in a new way, in order to do that, we need to partner with others. We each have our important role. We talked about 3Ms with our sustainability value commitment and what we do with raw materials and how we design uses for our customers. But we need to take it a step further. And partnering with others is the way to do that. Um, CE100 and the Ellen MacArthur Foundation are great partners to do that. I know 3M has been thinking about this for a long time, but what advice would you have for brands or companies that are just getting started on this circularity path? When companies that are getting started on a circularity path, they should think about things that they're already doing. They should think about recycling, both in their own operations and in the products and services that they design. They should think about what materials they use and how to really maximize the impact of each material and reduce waste in the process. And they should think about partnering with others because, like so many things, the biggest impact happens when we do that. Well, Gail, thank you so much for your time here today, and thank you for your leadership on this issue. Oh, it's a great pleasure. Thanks so much for the opportunity and for hosting this big event.